Okay, and here we go. Finally back on doing this. Gonna pick up a quest here, and then we're gonna do a quick tour around the city. Um, I'm gonna cover a couple of things that are good to know because I'll be referencing them later. <laughs> Let's see. Fundamentals of adventuring. That sounds like a plan. Okay, got to visit the Aetherite Plaza, Emerald Avenue. Okay. Yep, I'm going to burn things. That That's what that's for. All the burning. Do 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 do. Aetherite Plaza, Thaumaturgia's Guild, and Sapphire Avenue Exchange. We're going to detour a little bit. Do, 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 do. It is true. Chasing after money right from the get-go, not the best idea ever. But you know how some people are. We'll talk to that guy later. They got, they have good stuff, but nothing for us right now. Main menu, blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. So I'm gonna do this just because this is how I like having it set up. Actually, I think I have three on my main account. I have a different setup on my main account, but then again, I've got a lot more spells and everything too. Time to attune to Aetherites. Da 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 da. So it will make you. It does want you to meet up with all the Aetherites in a city. For you to go everywhere. Now the plus side is the map will tell you where to go. And that makes me happy. We'll also have a couple of quests here and there. Like this. Doo -doo. And there's that guy who's pretty much always dancing in that location. Unless he's dancing somewhere else. I don't I know he plays at some point, but eh, there, there's certain people like that. I have now attuned to the Aetherite. Nene Baru. These guys all have funny names.
They just look awesome, these Aetherites. I just like how they, they're, they're like giant crystal thingies. So in this in this game, you do have the return spell, which makes you return to pretty much anywhere. But you also have a teleport spell, which lets you go to anywhere. And uh, yeah, it's made possible by connecting to Aetherites. If you don't have an Aetherite connection, you can't teleport. Which is kind of neat in my opinion. It's a fun way to do it. Of course, there's still chocobos. We learned return. Return lets us come back to any point that we have created as a home point. Okay, so this is already set as our home point. Return will actually is actually free. Teleport, however, will let you teleport places, but it's not free. Now, not a whole lot over here, but we're going to collect this. Okay, snapping true. So we'll be doing that. All right, so this is the Pugilists Guild. One of three uh, fighting guilds in the, well, because it's the first, this is for the first uh, game. Each city has two combat classes and three, and one arcane class. So this is one of the two melee classes that you can get here. Wow, he was unpleasant. Excuse me. I was not expecting that one. Do, 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 boop, boop. So he's going to make us hand over the sealed item. It's easy enough. And that little sprout thingy we have over there, that's just telling everybody that we're new, we're new players. So, this right here, we'll come back to it later. This is the Ulda uh, uh, company. So each, each of the cities has their own, their, their own free company. And this is the, the the one for the ooh what are they called the immortal flames. So Ulda is the immortal flames, and w when we get to the other cities, it'll it will take us to the other cities too. Uh, we will cover them when we get there. 
up here. Bunch of lap. We're going to go through here in a little bit. As you can see, somebody's out here passing out notes. Today's matches are set. So uh, this is where the gladiatorial arena is. Boop. We can use items. Yep. Okay, so we're, we need to go to the ossuary anyway. Because... That massive building right there is the Thaumaturge's Guild, which also doubles as the... Well, they don't really have priests here in this city, so the people that do all the interring of the dead and everything is the Thaumaturgy Guild, which they will cover here in a bit. Potion or ether. Uh, we'll grab potions for right now, just in case. Ether is like most most versions of the game. Uh, potions will heal your HP, and ether will heal your MP. Go to Erasmus. In the name of science, I'm studying the anatomy of the. Uh, aid me, bring me five bottles of marmot blood. Uh, and we get to be a footnote. Isn't that lovely? Then I'm going to talk to him. Welcome to the Thaumaturge Guild. It is fate that has guided your steps here this day. I see you harbor arcane ambitions, though your journey has scarcely begun. Within the hallowed halls, the arts of devastation are taught, primeval magics from which he, which to bring about an enemy's ruin. If you would join our ranks and wield such power, you must needs know of our beginnings. The nation of Ulda inherited its, its traditions from the ancient Belladia, a city founded by the descendants of the first mages. The secrets of these illustrious sorcerers were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of Nald Thal, who have passed them down from generation to generation since. Focused and refined over centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually merged with the art that we know as Thaumaturgy. A freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sins of mortal life. The Dweemers employed in the preparation of the dead are equally efficacious when applied to the living. It is for this reason that we are feared and respected in equal measure. Thus does our guild thrive, ensconced in the catacombs of Arzaneath Ossuary, a sanctuary devoted to Thal, uh, divine arbiter of the afterlife. What you say then, adventurer? If you would plumb the abyssal depths of the Thaumaturgy, let our learned sages guide your descent. Ah, but before you leap into the darkness, you must prove to our guild master, masters that you are possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary to look on that which waits with therein. When you are ready to submit to the judgment of our most eminent mages, say the word. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> well, adventurer, do you, will you join our guild, or do you to presume to ignore the urgings of impatient destiny? Ooh, and we get raisins. We will join because raisins. Fundamental thaumaturgical personal, all 108 of them. 
Or at least I would if such requirement had not been abolished. Too great a deterrent to fresh novices, they said. Suppose you shall have to settle for calling upon the collective wisdom of our guild masters. Uh, singular voice of the guild. Master Coco? Coco B? Coco Bayo, I believe. Yeah, they, you'll see why it's why they're uh, slight issues with the name. So you got Coco Buki, Coco Bezi, Coco Boha, Coco Baigo, and Coco Bani. But no Coco Cabana. Write the 307 verses of the funeral rites of, vir of the virtuous fallen from memory. <laughs> and there's Coco Buki, who definitely looks different than his friend. And all of his brothers. Actually, I think there's a sister in there too. I don't. <laughs> and I would venture to say the wisest of the five masters of the Thaumaturge Guild. To wield Thaumaturgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The lethal force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capability of any other form of arcane manipulation. Fire, lightning, blizzards, somnolence, and the Thaumaturge calls upon an expansive arsenal of offensive incantations to incapacitate and obliterate all manner of adversaries, which is exactly what you wanted to do. Burn all the things. we open our mind then we too shall hold the unparalleled power of our of their discipline in the palm of our hands hmm. or such power has a price you must be willing to plunge headfirst into the foreboding chasm of thaumaturgy's secrets advancement of the art comes only at the complete of the completion of deadly and terrible trials are we prepared to leap into the abyss of the pursuit of power unrivaled oh I'm totally up for leaping into the abysses test the aptitude of channeling thaumaturgy huge hornets star marmots and snapping shrews inhabit the land exercise your sorcerous might and slay three of each of these before returning to his side well that'll be easy enough And they can wait, because I have a city to explore. Oh, I got a quest over here. What do you say? Ooh. Yeah, whip somebody into shape. The ridiculous outfits, huh? at the gladiators guild key items key items are easy enough to deal with oh they want inside the coliseum 
I thought they said outside the Colosseum. That is quite a bit of a difference. Oh, there we go. For Franz the Fair. And we got it set up. And there you can see down in the Colosseum. Empty right now, but won't always be. Set up another of the posters. Oh, somebody has a Ruby Carbuncle. And last one. Then we'll go ahead and talk to Genevieve as well. So this is where we steal our gill and then, you know, don't actually give anything to her, right? Yes, but I am an insolent person that got paid, so I'm okay with that. Oh, the fans of Franz have been stealing the flyers. Boop. So I gotta go over to the goldsmith, which is fine by me. The Garnet Gladiator. So this is the Gladiator Guild. Uh, Gladiator is one of the requirements for becoming the Paladin class, actually. And this is Mila, the Guildmaster. Oh, looks like Wolken has another thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Oh, kill some ladybugs. I'm down for killing ladybugs. Especially the ladybugs in here. Oh my goodness. When, normally when I think ladybugs, they're small and cute. These are massive and scary. Okay, so this is the inside. I'm going to check the map a little bit. So we got to go south to get to the Goldsmith's Guild. Okay. I'm going to take a small detour to go up. Yeah, I don't don't want to do that. Those are the those are the paladins of this of the city. Uh, protect the royal royalty and all that kind of stuff but we are coming up here for one thing and one thing only oh what is that oh yeah it is alchemist skilled so two things because we want to grab the alchemist skilled too So we actually have a limitation of 30 quests. So I don't think we're going to reach that. But we will get quite a bit of EXP for turn if we uh, collect all of these quests and do them now. 
bubble bubble toil and uh, <laughs> there's the guildmaster Severin he's an interesting person I will say that much And you'll notice that as, as we pass by, there, a lot of these people will have small comments as well. It's fun to look at some of the comments when you go by. Some of them are, some of them are funny. Some of them are just, some of them are sad. Some just general they're they actually make the world seem a little bit more in depth as it were now normally they'll let you jump off of wherever will they let you here sweet they won't always let you jump off everywhere so it's kind of important to so, this is telling us, Mining Guild that way, Goldsmith Guild this way. And there's a shop over there that sells the Goldsmith stuff. So we'll jump in here, Guild Receptionist, give him the order slip. Oh, wants us to go to the Miner's Guild. Serendipity, the guild master of the Goldsmith Guild. Uh, goldsmithing will make the majority of your things like circlets and uh, rings. And, and earrings, I should, as well. There's quite a few accessories that you can make. Bitter Snow. Huh? Masked Carnival. No. I have no interest in the Masked Carnival. Blue magic. Ugh. Okay, so we're going down here to the Miner's Guild. Oh, Flame Private. Got those people stationed everywhere. Crook Taft, and there's Adelberta. Adelberta looks pretty cool. <laughs> Once how many garnets? They don't grow on trees. Looks like he doesn't care for him so too much. Did I attune to this one? Yep, I attune to that one. Let's go over here. Okay, so these two, if you played the original Final, Fan uh, Final Fantasy uh, 14, they have items that you can get. Um, I don't think there's, and these are seasonal and others, other such items, but you need to have the seasonal um, pieces that would 
let you purchase it at the event. Um, item reclaim. Nope. I did list. You can purchase job specific gear. Uh, we don't have any quest, quest rewards, so that doesn't help. Uh, we don't have any achievements either, so that doesn't help either. Um, ceremony attire exchange. This is for if you get married in the game, you can you get a couple of different versions of this stuff. Uh, if you hire other people to to play the game, you get either silver or cho gold chocobo feathers. So that's a thing. Uh, this is the upgrade later weapons, which is kind of nice because it didn't you weren't didn't used to be able to do that here. Uh, Garo gear. Uh, I don't have that, so. Certificate exchange? I don't have any certificates. Delineation. Huh. Well, okay. Don't know what that's about. Mostly because I've never had to use it, so. That's a thing. Ethernet shard here. We're good. Go down here to the Weaver's Guild. Where we have Aethelwine. And here's Yellow Moon, uh, the one that the other gentleman was looking for. Well, and this is Redolent Rose, the leader of the the, the rather dapper leader of the Weaver's Guild. A soiree, huh? Wants us to show them welcome. So. Welcome. So, looks like we'll be going out and welcoming people on the way. Welcome. And I find it nice that they made sure that just about everybody that you come across has a has a name of some kind. Oh. Okay. Wants me to welcome in too. I don't think he's going to take it, the brass blade. <laughs> a 
bloody guard and on duty. <laughs> we deserved that. Well, that's kind of a nice mage outfit right there. color is perfectly fine as long as it comes off easy at the end of the night. I suppose that's one way to think of it. Let's see how we're doing. Luxury long lost. Oh, I need to go up the stairs to Hustings Strip. He says green. I got one red, one green. One black. Oh hey, this guy's pining for yellow moon as well. Let's go see. White. Oh, do I need to go in here? I do. And it wants me to go all the way in there for it. A motley green and red overlaid with stripes of purple and dark brown. Oh my goodness. That sounds utterly awful. Okay, so we had two for red. So now we'll actually use this to just pop over my back at the Weaver's Guild. And it's as simple as that. We're back here. And somebody just ran by with a pteranodon. We will come back here to join the guild once we're a little bit higher level. Wanna say... I don't know, it's not letting me. I think I have to be a little bit higher level for that. Nope, oh, that's for the alchemist. But before I go there, I'm going to come over here. Talk to Landabert.
Yeah, the, these people don't have a great life down here. All of these guys right here used to live in a land called Alamigo that has been captured by Uh, it's been captured by uh, the major, major enemy, the Gal, uh, Gal, Garlians. Bleh. I can, I can English. See, uh, they, they're kind of on rough times, and there, there's actually a little uh, setup outside of the town that that uh, a lot of them live in. Uh, some of these people are just dicks. Now, for crafting materials, you can also get a majority of the crafting materials at the guild itself, at least for lower level stuff. Uh, once you get into higher level stuff, you got to gather it yourself. That is all the complimentary aid you shall have for me, and far too much. Don't worry, I will come back and burn you later. Now, if you really have something that you want, you also have the market board. This is player-made stuff, so it's always going to be super expensive. A lot of the lower level stuff, it's actually better for you to just buy off your... Well, buy yourself. And... And go from there um, or make it yourself a lot of times I like making it myself just because uh, the crafting the pr crafting process is actually kind of interesting here okay and now I have attuned myself to all the Ethernet chart so it will also let me teleport to any of the exits to town and the airship as well so it's actually very good to uh, spend some extra time and wander around to uh, to find all the places in a new town. Let's go back up to the alchemist first. Talk to her. <laughs> I 
So, we've got her. So then it looks like we need a bag of the Adventurers Guild to wrap up our introduction for Around Town. Doop, 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 boop, boop. I'm going to jump over the things. I'll come over here. Yep, I, I had my purpose. I looked around and I found my stuff. What's left is your work hard, make money, and spend it at the quicksand, of course. But she gives us some cash. So, next quest will be at level four. So then, as it were, We'll wrap up for right now. And I'll see you in the next video.